uh, work hard, don't need rest No breaks when you're chasing success You snooze, you lose, no redos Only get one shot, there's no sequel Have fun, love what you do Live right, be your own individual Stay sharp, play smart, this is your life I don't know much, but I know you don't live twice Don't waste it, yeah, don't waste it Hey guys, this is Christy Morales here, the producer and host of Unsung Heroes, and you guys have the honor of seeing author, motivational speaker, and talk show host, Marcus Roberts the Loach. Hey, hey, Marcus. What's going on, guys? What's going on? I'm excited to be here. Such an honor to have you here on the show. So let's tell everybody about what you do. You do so much. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you sound like my fiance. She says that all the time. A lot of people ask her, what do I do? And, you know, when she starts rambling about it, most people are like, wow, he does so much. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yes, I am. I'm an author. I uh, just published, self-published my first book. Uh, Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Um, also a talk show host, which uh, just recently after my book was released, was asked to do a talk show just because of the message behind it. Mm -hmm. um, and then really with uh, speaking, speaking, I tell everyone, it's just something I've been doing since I was younger. Mm -hmm. I never really took into like like really paid attention to the fact that I was able to use words to empower people. Mm -hmm. um, so that's really where my empowerment speaker platform comes from. Beautiful. Now tell us, let's break it down. So you're an author, talk show host, motivational speaker. Let's break it down to what inspired you to want to do all three things. Uh, I tell everyone the book. I never knew that I was going to write a book ever, 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 ever. Um, mm -hmm. I've always been a good writer. Mm -hmm. Ever since I was younger, always complimented on the fact from my teachers, you know, you're a really good writer. If you really paid attention to your craft a little bit, you know, mm -hmm. some of the stuff that you write is really great. Um, but I never really envisioned the fact that I would write a book. It was just something that I feel as though God, you know, gave me the message and said, yes. you know, you're supposed to write a book. And I, I kind of questioned it at first, but, you know, <laughs> I, I took action. And I did it. Um, and it's just amazing to know. And then same thing, like I said, with speaking, uh, I've always been since I was younger, one of the smaller people in my class, you know. Mm -hmm. Me too. But, yeah. <laughs> Listen. And with, you know, Tiny with, but being mighty. Small, right? <laughs> with being small, you know, uh, that's one of the things that stood out to me. But I was always the friend that, you know, whenever one of my friends were down or something like that, mm -hmm. I did anything to make people laugh and smile um, and speak and empower them. Mm -hmm. It's just something as I grew older, I realized that it was a gift that I had to embrace. Um, yes. and yeah. And the same thing, like I said, with the talk show, it just really came about. I was asked after the book was released mm -hmm. uh, because of the message and, mm -hmm. you know, the vision that I really had with the book. You know, they were like, you really are, you know, you should start a show. You should yeah, have a talk yeah, show, you know, sure. empower people, talk to people about the message, spread it. Uh, so yes. that's really where I love it, it all came together. All the collaboration. Yes, we have yes. so many so much talent, especially people in the media who are coming on this show, and I love it. You know, I, I think that collaborating is beautiful, yes. and I think that, you know, all of us uniting together, we can make a change. Absolutely. Like, you know, we, we can really empower people and uplift. Yes. So tell me more about your book and what it's about. I see it there. If yes, you want to wave yes, it. Yes, of course, <laughs> yes. Uh, so the name of my book is called Bigger Than You, What Is Your Purpose? Mm -hmm. um, it's available on Amazon today, and if you go to my website, uh, iammarcusrd.com, mm -hmm. uh, you can get it there as well. And I tell everyone, you know, Bigger Than You is really a book, uh, but it's really an understanding to how to embrace your purpose in life and really take, mm. you know, the different, put different things together that you already really do, but you're not really paying attention to mm -hmm. and embrace the fact that it's a calling upon your life mm. because there's so many of us that are talented and gifted in many different ways. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we really push it aside to settle for things that we're not really happy doing. But right. if we started embracing the gifts and the different you know, talents that we had, it really allows you to start living a life of purpose. So throughout the book, I really just break down different things for you to be able to do to mm -hmm. walk and understand how to be able to walk in your life of purpose. Now, what are some of the steps that people can take? Um, you know, one of the biggest things that I always say is find yourself a mentor. Find yourself a yes, mentor. Sure. Um, I think that's one of the biggest things. And the reason why I think that's the biggest thing is because your mentor can tell you all the places that they've been, all the things that they've done, all the mistakes that they've made, mm -hmm. and what you can and cannot do. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was one of the greatest things that I was able to do is get myself a mentor. I have multiple mentors, and I mm -hmm. tell everyone, you don't, you can have a mentor for anything. You can have a mentor for working out. You have mm -hmm. a mentor for writing. Why not? You have a mentor for speaking. Like It doesn't matter what it is that you do. Mm -hmm. You can have a mentor that can teach you how to go about different things, and it really allows mm -hmm. you to say, okay, um, my mentor said not to do that, or this is the right step to go, or this is who I right. should be rubbing shoulders with, or this is the direction I should go in. Now, tell me more about mentorship, because there's viewers out there. We talk about mentors all the time. Mm -hmm. Our previous guests talked about mentors. I talk about mentors. If you could break it down for the audience on what 
being a mentor and titles and how to go about that? Um, I would really say uh, with with mentorship, I think the most important thing is is definitely, of course, obviously guidance mm -hmm. um, and just being able to say, OK, well, what do you have an idea behind what it is you want to do? And then if you even if you don't have an idea behind what it is that you want to do, what do you like? What do you pay attention to? What excites you? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, once you're able to identify that, then you start your mentor can help move you in the direction towards understanding how to do those different things. Okay. See, Marcus, you have me thinking here. I spoke to a couple other people that call themselves life coach, and I mm -hmm. feel like you sound like a life coach. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's ever told you that, but no, I feel like no. that might be your next calling right there. <laughs> like, just the, the fact that you break everything down, you know, you can be a mentor. And I think that all of us have it within us. It's just we have to figure out ourselves first before we can, I guess, take that step. Absolutely. Is that what you would agree with? Yes, yeah. yes, definitely. Okay. Now, tell us more about um, what it took to publish your book because you're self-published you said yes absolutely so it's a process I, I tell everyone i actually have a course it's called so you want to be an author um it's a free course that i author following behind um i have an academy where i mentor and i teach people how to self-publish their own book mm -hmm. but you know writing your own book whether you're being whether you're publishing through a company or you're self-publishing it takes a process so you mm -hmm. have to really be able to know what direction you want to go in identify why you want to write it, what makes, why would people want to read your book? Because there's right. thousands of people around the world who wrote a book about purpose, mm -hmm. just like myself. But mm -hmm. I have to be able to go and say, OK, well, my book is different because of this. And this right. is why. So just really being able to, you know, separate yourself, mm -hmm. give yourself time and really know and focus. And mm -hmm. I tell everyone, just start. If you're thinking about writing a book, mm -hmm. even if you don't know what direction to go in, just start. Because once you start, everything else just naturally comes to you. And what about like the the trying to find a graphic artist and oh going about doing goodness. all that? Is that like literally no, the hardest thing? No, no. I tell everyone, do not worry about any of those things. Literally, you know, I hold up my book again. The cover of my book is actually I had a business trip to uh, San Jose, California, um, and I was on a boat, and my fiance actually took the picture of me looking over the boat, wow. into, looking at the city of Long Beach, California. So cool. Um, so you know, and my my book went through many different covers, mm -hmm. but every last one of the covers I designed myself. That's great. And it's, you know, and it wasn't that I reached out to anyone and said, hey, mm -hmm. you know, I, I'm thinking about writing a book. Can you design it? It was just something that I put into my own hands and said, this is what I want to do. Mm -hmm. And I'm not really going to rely on someone else to do it for me. I'm just going to, you know, go about it the right way. Mm -hmm. Of course, I sent it to my mentor. I sent it to other people to get an outside perspective as far as what it looked like. Mm -hmm. But this book cover probably went through four different strips before it wow. became to this. So, you know, just really have an idea behind what it is that you want and mm -hmm. then go from there with it. So as long as they have a passion, the purpose, the drive and somebody to kind of like overlook what they're doing, mm -hmm. I guess that that's what it takes to yes. be an author and self-publisher. Honestly, yeah, honestly, I, I think that's that's really it. You know, mm -hmm. just just being able, like you said, to, to know, right. you know, and even if you don't know, unless I believe that behind every face there's a story. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you never know what your life, what someone else reading a book about your life could do for them. Mm -hmm. Just because many of us feel as though we're the only people going through something when there's someone right. else out in the world going through the same thing as you. And if you wrote a book about it, you'd be amazed at how you can impact someone's life just because of that. Now, being an author and being a talk show host, how do you see the, like, the difference in success rates of like media empowerment and then writing a book empowerment? Is it the same or how, how would you say? Um, I think honestly, I, there are two different avenues in a way, but mm -hmm. I think that you can impact people the same way. Um, mm -hmm. It's just about being able to use, knowing the message that you want to deliver to other people because mm -hmm. there's people all around the world who are trying to understand something in some way. Mm -hmm. So once you know, you know what kind of impact you're trying to make and what message you're trying to deliver to other people, just go with it, whether you're trying to be a talk show host in, in yeah. media or whether you're just trying to write a book about it, because honestly, it's still going to take the same amount of work and dedication, no matter which way you go. So it's basically what you feel in your heart to do. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Well, we'll be right back after this short break and we'll find out what makes Marcus an unsung hero. Awesome. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Marcus Robertson, Loach, author, talk show host, and empowerment speaker. And I'm here on Unsung Heroes. You guys can follow me on social media at I am Marcus RD, and you can also check out my website at I am Marcus RD.com. Welcome back. This is Chrissy Morales. We're here with motivational speaker, author, and just does it all talk show host, <laughs> Marcus. <laughs> So Marcus, we're having such a good conversation, but I would like to know, what do you think makes an unsung hero? 
Oh, uh, that's awesome. So I might be the one guest that actually took the time to, you know, go and really study it before I yes, got here. Yes, I love it, um, love it, love so it. So I, I looked into it, uh, mm -hmm. but I think honestly, um, an unsung hero is someone that just embraces the higher calling that they have in their life. Mm. Um, and, you know, they do things and they don't necessarily worry about being acknowledged uh, yeah. for them. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just being able to create a community or environment of people who have that same mission or that same goal. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot of unsung heroes out there that don't even know that they're unsung heroes. But I guess I that's why pick, it's an unsung hero, yeah, right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> they don't know. And that's the beauty of it is mm -hmm. that that's what this show's about is is. People coming in here that don't know they're unsung heroes, but really you are. You know, don't you guys agree that he's an unsung hero? Can we give him a round of applause? Thank you, thank you. Now, how would you motivate people, or viewers out there who are watching, um, that want to do what you're doing? You know, just wearing many hats and, and go about their lives doing it. Um, I would say definitely you have to, of course, I'm going to say you have to be able to, even if you don't know right away, you know, you have to figure out what it is that you want to do mm -hmm. um, what, or what direction that you want to go in. What, and, you know, my journey, my journey is amazing. To, I never, I'm, you know, I was a basketball player. I played college basketball. So you did sports? Yes, yes. And Wait I, a minute. Yeah. So you went from sports to doing everything else? Yes. And I still, I'm actually, I have not graduated from college yet. I'm getting ready to finish my last year. Uh, playing college basketball at Penn State Berks Congratulations. University. Congratulations. Thank you. Cool, cool. Uh, but I've had the opportunity, you know, I played college basketball in Virginia, uh, Nebraska, and Ohio. And I'm originally from Philadelphia. So, you know, going to places like Nebraska and meeting people, and they're like, you're in Nebraska and you're from Philly. What are you doing out here? <laughs> um, you know, and just getting that experience. And, you know, when I graduated from high school, I was mm -hmm. like, I know there's more than just, you know, Philadelphia. I know there's more than just because I was living in South Jersey. Mm -hmm. I know there's more than that. I want to go and I want to see what life has for me. So yes. I left home and I went out there. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like many people, you know, they stay limited to one space and they don't really reach out to know what else is available for them. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the more that you go and you reach out to see and discover those different things, that's when you begin to understand, mm -hmm. okay, maybe this is what I want to do or this is the direction mm -hmm. uh, that I want to go in. So, you know, branch out, break the lid, go. Yes. Go, you know, it might not be school, but go outside of the comfort zone that you're so used to and that most of the people around you will tell you to stay in and mm -hmm. do things outside of that and it will really allow you to know and understand. So get out of your comfort zone, yes. test the waters, travel, yes. have a good time and be responsible, folks. Of course. <laughs> Always be responsible yes. and, and stay positive. Yes, Right? Absolutely. Just to stay uplifted. So tell me more about what your future endeavors look like, what you're going to be doing, because you have so much going on. Uh, yes. Um, so, you know, I'm excited. Like I said, with the talk show, I have a lot of exciting guests. Uh, we're ready to launch probably another 10 episodes where I have some amazing, amazing um, different individuals jump come on there uh, uh -huh. that really just gave value. Um, really, I just look to be able to give value to the world and yes. allow people, like I said, you know, per helping people understand their purpose is my biggest thing mm -hmm. because a lot of people need the information to know mm -hmm. and if they if they can go and they can listen to my show they can come and they can listen to your show right. and get that information and know mm -hmm. it we're, we're doing what god really called us to do by providing that value yes. to people yes. um so you know and i'm actually working on two other books so bigger than you was just the first one yay that's uh, so exciting yes, cool. Yes. Cool. Um, so those two are definitely coming you know mm -hmm. uh and like i said you know just looking forward to what's next nice and now with your talk show what is like the basis around it? i know it's power it's you know powerful motivating tell us more about it. Uh, so I definitely would say uh, it's all about, you know, understanding a reason, uh, getting a why, and then, you know, living your life in purpose. And mm. that's really every single guest that I bring on there. Mm. Um, you know, they I tried not to bring the same guests on there that are all in the same industry, mm -hmm. because if you have individuals that are all doing the same thing, you know, people are not getting value. But mm -hmm. when someone looking from the outside in, if they're able to see someone that maybe they saw, maybe they thought about for one moment and maybe they mm -hmm. had a negative thought that said, oh, no, you shouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. And they listen to my show and they're like, wait, here's this guy or here's this girl that's doing They had the, maybe a similar path to what mm -hmm. I'm going through now, but they made it to where I'm trying to be. So yes. that's really what uh, Bigger Than You, which is the name of the show, uh, is really about. So there's guidance there, yes. basically, like they could find a mentor right through your show. Yes, absolutely. That's awesome. Well, we will be right back after this short break. Hi, everyone. I'm Chrissy Morales, the producer and host of Unsung Heroes. If you or someone you know has a positive story to tell, email me at tvunsungheroes at gmail.com, and you could be sitting right there. 
Welcome back, everyone. I'm Christy Morales here on Unsung Heroes with Marcus. He is empowering you guys and uplifting everybody. Definitely a person to seek mentorship from. We're excited to have you here. So tell us more about your academy. Uh, yeah, so I have, uh, uh, so it's called So You Want to Be an Author Academy. Um, it just recently launched. Uh, and with So You Want to Be an Author Academy, what I first do is I offer a free course uh, because I've, ever since that, I started writing my own book. Mm -hmm. um, you won't believe how many people have either messaged me on social media or when I see them in person or talking to me about, wait, you wrote a book? Wait, <laughs> how did you do that? Like, mm -hmm. I've always thought about writing a book, but I don't know how to do it or I don't know how to write, take the right steps. So mm -hmm. that really, um, I felt as though it was another call in that it was just like, you know, go for it. Yeah. Go for it. There's many people that are asking for your leadership or your mentorship, so go for it. Mm -hmm. uh, so with the So You Want to Be an Author uh, course, it uh, really allows you, it's a short course that allows you to get on and uh, really learn about what the self-publishing process requires of you uh, mm -hmm. to really see if it's something for you. And really the academy is just a community uh, that puts you in a position to be around other people who are doing the same thing, who are learning how to write their book. Mm -hmm. And I really go and I break down the different steps behind writing your book. Um, you know, what different topic, how to use social media uh, to be able to promote your book. Nice. And uh, every, honestly, everything that it takes to be able to get the finished product. Oh, and how to be able to do it in a short period of time because mm -hmm. there's people who who start a book and you know they'll look back and it'll be two years three years and it's like yo i started writing a book and i never finished it mm. um so you know with so you want to be an author academy it's a we set a goal in place of okay what does your time frame look like mm -hmm. and how can we get this accomplished what is your vision what do you want to write a book about nice what do you want to talk to people about why do you think that you qualify to write this book you know mm -hmm. and how do you engage with the people who are out there what does the industry look like that you may be competing in because honestly everything is a competition when you <sighs> when you have, you know the media yes, industry the is. book writing yeah. industry there's people out there who are doing the same thing as you so you have to bring it to the table and know that I'm the best fit for this, and yes. that's really what um, I go through with the academy. Just and now, is this that. a one-on-one, -on -one, or is there like a group of people that you discuss? How does it work? Yeah, so, you know, I offer one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching as well, mm -hmm. uh, but it's more so of a community-based thing, because like okay. I said, it's one thing where once you get involved, you know, you get yourself an ac accountability partner, someone who also who is also in the process of writing the Love book, yes. uh, to be able to understand it, and you, we all grow as a community. So, mm -hmm. you know, I bring on, I'm working on bringing on a lot of other Amazon best-selling authors that I've been able to connect with either via social media or friends of mine mm -hmm. um, who are really going to teach you about what it looked like when they got finished and what they did to have the success to become best-selling authors. Mm. So, and what's the success rate with being, you know, a publisher and an author this day and age as opposed to, you know, back in the day that it was like a big deal. Now mm -hmm. it's like if everybody can do it, like you said, the competition is so high. How's the success rate with that? Um, so honestly, you can have as much success as you want. The only difference uh, with being a published author and being a, uh, a self-published author is that, you know, when you're a self-published author, you have to do a lot more of the work that mm -hmm. when you are published, you know, most of the time they provide a lot of things for you. Mm -hmm. But, you know, realistically, they they take a large cut of what realistically you can go and get the resources yourself it's things yes. that i've been able to go meet with people go to networking events and they mm -hmm. were able to provide to me that if i would have signed with a, a publishing company you know it wouldn't have been as great for me so it's really about what it is that you are looking for honestly nice and and you know i'm totally about diys do it yourself yep. Because nobody else, like I said before, is going to do it for you. Yes, like, And it's absolutely. great that we have the resources to do it. Yes. Why not reach out to you? Mm -hmm. Now, where can people find this? Uh, so if you go on my website, it's called IamMarcusRD.com, and you click Author Academy, you'll, it'll give you all the information about uh, exactly what it is that we do in Author Academy, uh, what benefits it provides to you, and you can also register for the course. Uh, we do the course that weekly, uh, mm -hmm. so it's something that, you know, we go on there and we just go through the information. So it's just something to be able to plug you in uh, to it and know how to really establish yourself as an author. Nice. And as an empowerment, you know I have to get you to say some kind of motivational speech to the audience who's watching. Uh, so, you know, if I had anything to say, I'll say this. Uh, nothing is as hard as it seems. Uh, many of us in our mind, you know, we, we get so stuck in the fact that we can accomplish something because of this. Mm 
Mm -hmm. When realistically, if you sit with the right people, like we talked about with mentorship, or you get around the right environment of people, mm -hmm. and you really are dedicated to what it is that you're doing, you'll be amazed at what you're able to accomplish. So, you know, like I said, that's one thing that I had to leave you with. Remember, nothing is as hard as it seems. Yes, it really isn't, though. And people, you know, you think that, that it could be a difficult challenge, like, but you're, you're living testimony right here that you can do it all. Yes. You don't have to limit yourself. You can do it all. And there's no age number. You know, you can you That's can be right. you can be 15, you can be 16, you can be 60, you can be 30. It's no mm. limit. A lot of us get stuck in the fact that, oh, well, I'm not this age, so I can't do this. Like mm. a lot of people, they don't know that I'm 22 until I tell them I'm 22. And right. they're like, wait, you're 22? <laughs> well, are you serious? I did not know you were that young. That's so, so you funny. Know, I tell everyone, don't worry about how old you are. No. You know, get, do what it is that you are called to do right. or that you feel as though you're called to do. Absolutely. And since you're doing such amazing things in the community, I would love to give a gift to you. Oh. So, drum roll, please. <laughs> I would like to honor you with an Unsung Hero Award. Oh, my Thank goodness. you so Thank much, you so Marcus. Much. Thank you. I appreciate it. You are really it. doing amazing things. I see you going so far. Um, we can't wait to see more of you. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you so much it. for being on the show. Until next time, guys, this is Chrissy Morales here on Unsung Heroes. See you guys. Let's take some selfies. All right, let's do it. Woo!